Let's get right into it. Number 9. Headphone Volume Deafness You're trying to block out the noise of the outside world, maybe focusing on a podcast, or just zoning out with your favorite hyper-intense metal track. Your headphones are a beautiful, portable escape pod. But the volume you need to achieve true auditory comfort is the same volume that is destroying the tiny hair cells in your inner ear. These delicate little cells, called stereocilia, convert sound waves into electrical signals for your brain. Unlike the rest of your body, once these particular cells are damaged by excessive noise, they don't grow back. It's a one-way ticket to hearing loss. So every time you crank the volume up to immersive levels to block out your irritating coworker, you're essentially performing an aggressive, irreparable exfoliation on the most sensitive part of your ear. You're sacrificing your future ability to hear birdsong for your present ability to hear your true crime doc. Number 8. The Caffeine Crash Deception That morning cup of coffee is the sacred ritual of comfort and productivity. It's a jolt of energy. The warm, comforting hand guiding you toward your to-do list. But caffeine doesn't actually give you energy. It just prevents you from feeling tired. It works by acting as an antagonist to adenosine, a neurotransmitter that tells your brain when it's time to feel sleepy. By blocking adenosine receptors, the caffeine essentially ties up the messenger, allowing the sleep signals to build up unnoticed in the background. Then, four hours later, your liver clears the caffeine, the adenosine messengers are all released at once, and you hit that wall the dreaded crash. Your comfy energy source is nothing more than a temporary chemical blockade, and the subsequent fatigue is your brain realizing it's been lied to and demanding a punitive nap. Number 7. Water Bottle Leaching Chemicals You're being healthy, staying hydrated, and using your reusable plastic water bottle to save the planet. You feel good about this choice, it's a portable comfort for your body and your conscience. But that clear plastic, especially when it's old, scratched, or frequently exposed to heat, begins to break down. The compounds used to make the plastic flexible and clear, like BPA or its equally sketchy replacements, start leaching into your water. These chemicals, like the phthalates and the air fresheners, are often endocrine disruptors. So, while you're sipping on that refreshing glass of water, you're also taking tiny, unadvertised sips of industrial plasticizers. Your commitment to comfort and the environment is being undermined by a slow, silent, microscopic process right under your nose. Number 6. The Elevator's False Sense of Security The elevator is the ultimate comfort of modern laziness. It lifts you effortlessly across vertical space, saving you from having to use those tiring leg muscles. You step in, confident that the metal box, held by a bunch of cables, will deliver you safely. However, that sense of security is built on a terrifying premise. Friction. The safety mechanism in most elevators is a set of wedges or clamps designed to grab onto the guide rails if the cables break or if the car speeds up too fast. This works by suddenly creating massive friction to stop the car. The comfort of the smooth, silent ride relies entirely on the fact that these emergency brakes are never engaged. If they do engage, the sudden deceleration could potentially turn your comfy, effortless ride into a traumatic event or, in extreme cases, a high-G collision. You put your full faith in a system that avoids catastrophe by relying on a controlled, intentional, high-speed jam. Number 5. Killer Kitchen Sponges You think you're being responsible, wiping down the counter after your mediocre dinner prep. You grab the sponge, that cheerful little yellow block, and give everything a satisfying scrub. Congratulations, you've just smeared billions of highly sophisticated bacteria across every surface. The kitchen sponge is not a cleaning tool. It is a luxury condominium for microbes. A study found that one cubic inch of a used kitchen sponge can harbor up to 82 billion bacteria. That's a higher density of microbes than you'd find in the average toilet. And not the good, harmless kind, either. We're talking salmonella, E, coli, and a whole host of other little guys who are actively plotting the downfall of your digestive tract. Your attempt at cleanliness is the equivalent of trying to put out a forest fire with a cup of gasoline, except the gasoline is teeming with microscopic life forms that want to see you fail. The only reason we don't drop dead more often is because our immune systems are absolute legends at their job. Number 4. The Silent Ceiling Fan Decapitation Risk You're trying to save a buck on AC, so you crank up that ceiling fan, creating a gentle, blissful breeze. It's perfect, right? 
It's a symbol of calm, domestic life. Except, you're now sharing a room with a rapidly spinning metal death trap that is actively trying to kill you or at least cause some serious trauma. The terrifying reality is that most ceiling fans are held up by a single metal bracket and a few screws. Due to constant vibration, poor installation, or just plain old fatigue, those screws can and do come loose. Imagine, if you will, being completely lost in the latest reality TV show, utterly devoid of worldly concerns, when 40 pounds of spinning steel blades decides it's had enough and takes a nosedive right into your meticulously styled hair. It's a low probability event, sure, but the consequence is hilariously, tragically high. You're depending on a 1,970 era aesthetic choice and a couple of half inch pieces of metal to keep a miniature, spinning helicopter from turning your living room into an rated B movie scene. Sweet dreams. Number 3. Killer Shower Heads. You step into the shower, ready to rinse off the day's existential dread. The hot water steams up, creating a spa-like atmosphere. What you don't realize is that the soothing spray of your shower head is actually a biological aerosol delivery system. Inside that shiny chrome cap are tiny microscopic forests of bacteria, specifically, non-tuberculous mycobacteria. These guys love the warm, moist, dark environment inside your shower head. It's basically a five-star resort for them. When you turn on the water, the force of the spray atomizes these microbial colonies into tiny droplets, which you then inhale deep into your lungs. For most people, your immune system shrugs it off, because again, your immune system is a hero. But for people with weakened defenses, or those with lung conditions, that seemingly innocent morning spray can lead to a serious lung infection called hot tub lung, even though you're just standing in your sad little bathroom. You're paying to breathe in an atomized biohazard every single morning. Enjoy your cleanliness. Number 2. Moldy Refrigerator Gaskets You open your fridge to grab a leftover slice of pizza, a truly comforting moment. But take a close look at the rubber seal, the gasket, that runs around the perimeter of the door. That crevice is not there for aesthetics. It's a perfectly designed microbial habitat. The warm air from your kitchen meets the cold air from the fridge, creating condensation. Add in tiny food particles that splatter or fall into the rubber folds, and you've created a dark, damp, nutrient-rich environment that is basically a petri dish for every kind of black mold and yeast imaginable. Every time you open that door, you're creating a little puff of air that wafts mold spores right into your face. It's the fridge's way of saying, you think I'm just here to keep your mayonnaise cold? Think again. I'm a hidden biological factory, and you're constantly cleaning the inside but you almost never clean the gross, rubber outer rim that's constantly breathing its moldy secrets right at you. Number 1. Toxic, fresh, carpet smell. You move into a new place, and you've got that pristine, wall-to-wall -wall carpet smell. It's supposed to signal, clean and new, a comforting sign of a fresh start. But that aroma isn't cleanliness. It's off-gassing volatile organic compounds, and they are not your friends. New carpet is often treated with chemicals like 4-phenylcyclohexene, which gives it that distinctive, synthetic new smell. These aren't just mildly annoying fumes, they are linked to headaches, dizziness, and respiratory irritation. You bought a plush flooring surface, but you also bought a slow-release chemical fogger that's constantly pumping invisible toxins into your breathable airspace. The comfort of sinking your toes into thick pile comes with the psychological assurance that you are being gently pickled in a low-grade industrial solvent. Sleep tight. That's all for today. I'll be making similar videos in the future. Subscribe to see them.